Okay, now we got all the specs out of the way. Let's talk about the liquid cooling loop. I'm sure this is what everybody wants to know about. So, start off, start out with the reservoir. Reservoir is an EK um, multi port res. As you can see on the bottom, there are multi ports. That's why they call it that. But I'm using the ones on the bottom. So, my design for this was I wanted each critical component, so my CPU and my GPUs, to have their own 480 rad. So if you see on top, there's one 480 rad. This is made by XSPC. And then down here in the basement, there's another 480 rad. You can kind of see the fans hidden behind there. So I'm running two, so each of these components, the GPUs and the processor, each get their own 480 rad. So that, that was kind of the idea and that's how I wanted to keep it for whenever I do my next, or the version 2.0 of this build. So is the way my loop flows is it starts off from the res, of course. Starts off from the res, goes to the pump, which is down in the basement. And then from the pump, goes to the GPUs. So this comes from directly from the pump right here. Then goes to the GPUs, goes to the first one, flows through, goes to the second one, flows through. Then it goes all the way up to the top and goes into the first radiator. Gets cooled, flows back through. Then this one back here goes uh, to the inlet on the CPU, which the CPU block is an EK uh, copper block. It's their uh, supremacy, I believe, EK supremacy uh, block. So it goes into this block, then comes out. Then this tube right here actually goes behind the case and down into the basement again to this radiator and that's where it gets cooled, goes to the reservoir and starts the whole process over again. So that's how my loop flows. And each of these 480 radiators, I believe they are the, the E series of XSPC. Don't quote me on that. Again, check in the description. I'll have a um, description of all these parts, everything in there. Um, so I believe it's their E-Series or their EV. I can't remember what it's called. They have uh, like three or four different series. But this actually came black too, this top one. And I had painted it white. Of course, I didn't paint the fins because that would, that would kind of defeat the purpose of the radiator. But the fins are still black. But the uh, outside part is all white. So it matches the, uh, the interior of the case. And then all the fans are the Corsair high static pressure fans. There's um, quite a few in here. I have to count them all up. I think there's 12 fans total. 15, 15 fans total. Forgot the three on the front. So, and you may think that I'm actually running a uh, negative pressure situation here because I have five exhaust fans and three intake fans for the inside of the case, but I actually have this one hooked up to the motherboard. So this one is just controlled by the computer, or I can go into the to the uh, BIOS and control it myself with uh, the ASUS software. But all of these other fans, the three in the front, the four on top, and the uh, seven on the bottom, they're all controlled in the front by my fan controller. So these fans, they're all controlled by my fan controller in the front. This is the NZXT fan controller. It has six channels, so they're just little sliders. And also a uh, option to change the colors right here. It's a little button. But all these are, are set up very specifically. So these first set of fans are the intake fans right here. The second set is half of the fans on the radiator on the top. Third set is the second half of the fans on the radiator. And then the last three channels are all the fans in the basement. So by controlling the fan speed of the intake fans and the exhaust fans, I can actually create a positive pressure situation where the intake fans are spinning faster than the exhaust fans. Sometimes I'll only have half of these running. I'll only have these two or these two running. That way it doesn't create a negative pressure situation. I maintain positive or neutral pressure.
So that's how I keep that running. So now let's talk more about the basement. So there's another e, uh, XSPC 480 rad right here. It actually has seven fans on it instead of eight. They're running in push-pull configuration. There's four right here on the front and three right here on the back. And they're pulling air in and just dragging it across the basement of the case. So this is what it looks like on the front. There's not much to see over here because the radiator blocks most of it. But let me turn it around and show you what's on the other side. So this is my sort of cable nightmare. It looks a lot more organized than it actually is, trust me. But down in the basement, you can see my pump right there is a D5 pump. That I uh, bought on Amazon, I believe. I can't remember the brand. Uh, I'll post it in the description. Um, the Corsair power supply is the Corsair AX1200i. So it's 1200 watts. It's also the one that comes with the Corsair Link uh, system which is just a USB header that plugs directly into your motherboard and that's how it works. It links up to the power supply and provides um, detailed information of all your components in the system. Fan speeds, temperatures, it shows GPU temperatures. It's kind of nice because it puts it all in one place without having, without the need of opening different programs for um, temperature and all that stuff. Um, now back to the water cooling system. So you can see where my uh, inlet and outlet are. So this one right here is my inlet. And I actually put these T fittings, if you can see it, I put these T fittings on here and these have uh, thermostats on the bottom. So what, what I did with those is I have two, one on the um, fluid going in and one uh, before it hits the res. So the way that works is I'm reading the temperature at the beginning of the loop before it touches any of the critical components. And then I'm reading it after it flows through the two radiators. So that way I kind of see what the radiators are doing, if it's, if it's actually cooling it or what. So I could see if, if it's getting hotter or if it's getting cooler to see how, it, how everything's working. So that's how this is set up. I just use T-fittings to split into the system. This one right here is actually, it's on a T-fitting, but it's actually my drain plug as well. And we're right in there, if you could see, but there is a, uh, right here is one of those um, cutoff valves. So this is where I drain the system. I just, um, I just unscrew the thermostat, hook up my hose, and then uh, drain it that way. So. That is the back of the computer. You see my Samsung SSD. That's actually one of the first gen SSDs that Samsung has made and it's still performing miraculously. My um, Western Digital hard drive right there, six terabyte. You can also see right here, one of the drains, my, my tubing. This one comes from the CPU and goes through here and down into the radiator. It's cooled, then from there goes uh, goes back to the reservoir. So, hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please click the like button. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel, All Things PC. If you have any ideas, suggestions, comments, or anything I can do to make these videos better for you guys, or any uh, content ideas, things you might want to see, please leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to read through them and implement all your ideas. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.